Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. If you guys remember recently Samsung released Samsung One UI 6.0 beta version for some selected countries. But we managed to install it on our Indian unit using side load method. And in this video, we'll talk about some interesting 30 plus features which are introduced on Samsung's One UI 6.0. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Samsung S23 Ultra on which I have installed the One UI 6.2 first of all let me just show you the software information about it you can see one ui version is 6.2 which is based on android 14 and the google security patch is 1st august 2023 if you guys wish to install we have made a dedicated video with step-by-step -step guide so if you want you can watch that video which is being displayed on the screen and before moving ahead if you guys like our content then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing. So let's start with the first change which is layered to lock screen. If I long press on the lock screen here, we have some different clock styles and one thing which you'll notice if I move towards the right hand side, the notification icons also gets adjusted and moves towards the right hand side. If I move it in the center, they also aligns to center side and if I move towards the left hand side, they also move towards the left hand side. And you also have the ability to resize the clock styles. And like before, there are multiple fonts available which you can choose from. Another change what you'll see on the lock screen is layered to the music tile. So here you can see now we have a revamped music tile which kind of looks similar to stock Android 14 but the progress bar have this wavy format which is a bit different from Google stock Android. And the color of the progress bar adapts to the song thumbnail color. As you can see soon I change the song the progress bar also adapts to the same color of the song thumbnail. And it's the same story in the quick setting tiles also. Until you expand the notification panel, you'll have this minimalistic music section. But soon you expand it, you can see this similar stuff what you have seen on lock screen. So this is another change what we have noticed on Samsung's One UI 6.0 first beta. The major UI redesign you'll see in the quick setting tiles. So here you can see with a single swipe, we have the regular quick setting tiles which we have seen on 5.1. But if you swipe down more, you'll see an expanded version of that, which includes these two horizontal tiles of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, then some regular tiles, but in a different section and later two more sections, which consist of brightness slider and few other display information. Beneath that, there are also two horizontal tiles, which we'll talk about them in a while. So first change, what you'll notice here is if you tap on the text of these horizontal tiles, you'll see the pop-up menu. It goes for both the tiles, but you still have an option to disable or enable by just tapping on the icon of that particular setting. In these regular tiles also, you can long press to see the pop-up menu or the additional options layer to that particular tile. Tapping on these three dots of brightness slider, we do have the options like adaptive brightness and extra brightness option. And then at last, smart view for screen mirroring and another tile is device control. For the edit section also, Samsung have pretty well segregated both the things. You get two different options to edit, one for the top tiles and another one for the extended version. So if you tap on edit, here we have the ability to make changes in the tiles present on the top side. And if you tap on this expanded option, you can customize the tiles present in the centered area. Also, Samsung introduced this quick setting instant access. So if this has been enabled, you can swipe from the right top corner to access the quick setting tiles. So swiping down from the home screen, you'll get to see the notifications instead of quick setting tiles. You can also disable the brightness control or the brightness slide bar where we get two options show always or show when quick setting panel is expanded. And we also have the option to show device controls and media output buttons. Next change what we have seen and that's layer to the notification panel. So if you see, I have multiple notifications from Telegram, but everything is included in this single card. And if I want to access individual notification, I just have to tap on this arrow mark and it will give me different cards for all the notifications present from the particular application another example here you can see with the gmail application we have a single card if i tap here we'll get to see different cards from the mails which i have received quite a useful implementation and this thing is missing on oneplus smartphones running oxygen os 13.1 another change layer to notification is now you can sort out the notifications by priority or by time depending on your preferences your notifications will be segregated and now with one ui 6.2 airplane mode also got way smarter so for example if i turn on the airplane mode 
or you can say the flight mode you can see Wi-Fi and Bluetooth both of them also got turned off but if I enable Bluetooth when the airplane mode is turned on next time if I enable flight mode the Bluetooth won't turn off so let me show you that as you can see and another change what you'll see that's layered to the smart suggestion so here the widget have been redesigned with a layout that better aligns with the icons on the home screen we do get to see two different backgrounds white and black and you can also change the transparency of it there are some handy android 14 features which are present on the first beta of one ui 6 and the first one is the ability to drag and drop the image to a different application this way you can drag and drop the image to whomever you want and this is not only limited to images you can also do this with the text so i'll select text from here i'll hold the text now i can drag and drop this text to a different application as you can see could be very useful while using split screen mode and now we also have this new back gesture pill which we have seen on stock android along with that you also get to see predictive gesture feature which can be found in the developer settings by default it is turned off you need to enable it from here as you can see which says predictive back animation but on samsung smartphone which is s23 ultra it is not working with the samsung stock applications but they have added this feature and later another stock android feature what you get to see on one ui 6 is layered to limited access to photos for example if i open up facebook application and when i log in into it if i allow permissions for the photo access you can see now it gives a new option which says select photos and videos so now you can allow access to limited photos instead of all the photos which are present in the gallery android 14 also brings multi-language support for individual applications so if i want to change the language of chrome i can do that so only this particular application will have a different language compared to my system default language another change is layered to bixby text call so now we have the ability to switch to text call in between the call itself so here you can see when i made a call i got this option of bixby text call i can switch it to text call or again if i want i can switch to voice call which wasn't the case on one ui 5.1 and bixby text call also supports more languages now compared to the previous one as far as i remember there were only three languages present on 5.1 but now more language support have been added another new feature what they have added is now we can add custom camera widget so here you can see this is the camera widget which i have added so whenever i tap on this camera widget this will always open up the pro mode which i have selected so you let me show you if i long press and go to settings here you can see you can give a custom name to that particular widget and there are options like you can choose from front or back camera which needs to be open when you tap on that widget and all the other modes are available whichever mode you want to select you can select that so whenever you tap on that particular widget that mode will be open depending on the camera which you have selected either the front one or the back one and you also have the ability to select the albums where you want to save those pictures or videos you can also select the particular image which will be always displayed on the widget and now they have also added a new weather widget which is weather inside so this will give you all the required information related to weather in your particular area or city this is how it looks on the home screen it gave me details like sunset and if it is about to rain i can see that written on this particular widget also weather application got revamped and few ui changes have been done this weather application provides you more details compared to previous one now a lot of changes are also done in the camera application so first of all you will notice changes in the ui of the camera application we get direct options Options to switch between 12 megapixel 50 megapixel and even 200 megapixel under video section we have a new icon for super steady mode also the resolution UI is now more handy and cleaner another new add-on is in the settings so here you can see we have a new option called advanced intelligent options where you get three options maximum medium and minimum maximum for the best picture quality if you select minimum this will compromise on the picture quality but the shutter speed would be too fast another new add-on is auto fps so here system will automatically try to increase the brightness in low light conditions by optimizing the frame rate in the video mode and now watermark section also got a lot of customizations like you can change the date format time format you can select different fonts and you can also make changes in the alignment of the watermark so these were all the camera changes now let's move to the changes done in the gallery application 
So soon you open any photo in the gallery, you'll see a new info icon. And once you tap on it, you get few required edit options right beneath the image. For example, remastered, portrait effect and object eraser some changes are also done in the edit ui if you tap this last icon some of the important edit options are present directly here and another new option what you'll see in the gallery is this custom stickers so here you can see we have a sticker option towards the left hand side there's a gallery icon from where you can select any of the custom stickers which you have created so this was the custom icon which i had created and you can save them directly into the gallery later you can add them on any image along with that you also have the ability to add text and now the good thing is you can also download custom text and later apply them on the picture you want and another good add-on is now you can copy the edits if you have already done on any of the particular image so this image have been edited i can directly copy these edits and paste it on a different image you can see here i'm getting an option which says paste edits you can also use custom stickers in almost every application available. I have that custom sticker which I recently created and that I can use it to send it to anyone. With One UI 6, we also get to see improved smart select option. So for example, if I select any of the option and if I try to increase or decrease the size, you also get to see the aspect ratio depending on the size and you'll also get to see the magnifier for the precise edge selection app labels are present in single line compared to those two lines which we get to see on one ui 5.1 and if you go to the app drawer tapping on the search bar and later if you long press on any of the application we now get to see these quick shortcuts and with the samsung keyboard now you have these redesigned emojis and they look pretty good compared to other emojis which i have used on other phones talking about the next change which is layered to the storage or you can say the file manager so if you go to file manager under manage storage few additional options like app caches unused application duplicate files large files and there are also few suggestions like for example here we have a pop-up which says free up 3.74 mb of space by deleting the original version of files you have edited and saved so these are some of the changes under file manager or you can say storage now going to the battery section so here also i did notice few changes one major change what you'll see previously on one ui 5.1 the battery section was under device care but now it have got a different section with the name of battery itself and one good thing which i have observed i've been using this device from past two three days and it is still learning my usage pattern this is something which we don't get to see on any other device though they claimed that os requires some time to learn your usage pattern but here until device is done learning my usage pattern i'll still get this pop-up and i'm damn sure once this is done battery backup will be really amazing on my samsung s23 ultra about this option i'm not sure whether it was present on 5.1 which says protect battery and if you enable this the battery won't charge above 85 percent and under battery usage now you can check out the battery usage as per days if you scroll down more you can also see the battery usage in minutes or hours few more changes you'll see under modes and routines for example if i select sleep mode here now i get the ability to change the appearance for example if i want to set a custom wallpaper for the lock screen i can do that and for the home screen also i can do similar changes and whenever i turn on this sleep mode that particular wallpaper will be applied on the device when it comes to privacy i feel samsung is amongst the top leaders they have added a new feature called auto blocker it will block all the applications from unauthorized stores app security checks will be done and it will also block the installation using usb cable and you can also block the software updates by usb cable so this is one of my favorite feature what they have added and it can be very useful for people who are not much aware about all these things and wants to keep their device secure and another feature layer to safety which you guys can find it under safety and emergency which is called unknown track alert so for example if someone have kept a tracker inside your bag your samsung s23 ultra will alert you about the same thing and you also have an option to manually scan for it which you can trigger instantly another a very useful feature what they have added and few more changes what you'll notice for example if you are sharing any image or text once you tap on share image you will get to see a preview of the image or the url here you can see if i selected nearby share 
I get to see the preview of that particular image which I am sharing. Trust me guys, haptics are way lot improved on my Samsung S23 Ultra along with the animations on one ui 6.0 so guys these were all the changes what we have discovered till now on first beta of one ui 6.0 if i have missed out anything then let me know in the comment section below and if you guys like our work make sure to smash that like button this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video